Hello folks and welcome back to By Spring. Here we are with a load of bells and why is that worker getting confused? Yeah yeah, shut up. Why are you in that way? Come on. But yeah, so we've done a few contracts in that in between episodes. There we go. Is it gonna work now? So yeah, we've done three contracts, and uh, we've completed them. And we're just finishing off another set of three contracts with the bells here. With the last few contracts, last time I did off camera, I did have an issue of picking up the grass and that, wind rolling it and making it as bells. Yeah, I was getting weird issues on where it's had no access to land. Yes, the contract was complete, but I didn't click it off, I completed it officially now to get the payment out of it. So I thought, heck it, to get these and that, so we four dropped off 19 bells, complete one contract, second one is almost done, and the third one is about 80% completed. Yeah, so we got this fully loaded, and we did these that little trailer over there. Alright, he's catching up. Just gonna see there for a sec, so... Yeah, I should get a little bit of money out of this. Yeah, we could save these bells. But I think this will be the last time we'll sell bells and that. I think from now on, any contracts we do, I'll split them apart and just keep them for ourselves. Stuck apparently. But to any who. Wait for the bars to go up. Ah, we'll just simply unload these in here, so. There we go, just align ourselves up. A bit more over to the left there. How far? Oh, quite a bit over still. There we go. And just go and unload these. And then that's jobs are good. In. So, yeah, pallets, well, the pallet spells are done. Get a nice little payment out of it. Seventy-seven grand plus additional two and a half grand. Thanks to our very men's score. And now just for these five bells. The, the old Deutsch bar here. So I think simply driving it in should do it. Scattery that was, but see a rule, not too bad. So we go and return that. And now we'll scare everything back to the farm. We'll put that away because we do have a busy month ahead of us. We've got a few things to do. I think we've got some alignment to do and a bit of fertilization to do on some of our fields, and even maybe some mowing, which I may have accidentally forgot on one or two plots of land of ours, but yep, head back to the farm, get everything back, and then we'll resume from there. And there we go, back at the farm, just squeezing that in, just I think I approached that on a bit of a wrong angle. But yes, yeah, so we've still got some of our bells to pick up and collect. I will leave this about in case we need it, because I think we do. So yeah, I'll just sort of... Actually, what? Um, we'll leave it over here next to the manure heap and that, but... I see we've got our load spread out, we've got our surrey tanker out ready. And we've gone and washed a lot of our equipment. And put it away in storage. 
new trip back on. We need to get out of here on the left hand side, so just kink it a bit. There we go. See, that's all of our equipment back in storage. Some of it's been washed and out. Might as well just wash the room now. Even though I think we're going to have to bring it back out because, as I've noticed, plot 64. That needs mowing. I've completely forgot to mow that field. All the other fields should be ready tomorrow. However, some of it still needs to be offline. Not sure if we can do it now, which I pretty much doubt we can. Also, we need to fertilize some of these fields, so. Just get the top of these spikes. Clean them off, because you know. It's so much just crap in that building up. Just in the, be surprised where dirt roots its way up. There we go. But yeah, so if we have a look. 62, that needs some nitrogen. But yeah, all of our main fields are 77 out of 100. So you need a bit better tillage and weed control. And apparently we're not perfect with the nitrogen, which is a bit odd. I'm not too sure on that. But one of the sound is these, well it's mainly our new ones here. But once these are done, we will mow them. I should use those fields to do a bit of a test. It's apparently we're having issues with the Wii Control. And I can't remember who it was mentioned it on Mr. CP's Discord server. And apparently with precision farming and grass, you need to put a cover crop in, so all seeds radish. And that obviously takes a month to grow, so if we do a mow in June, plant it, cultivate it in July, and then if we then, what's it, if we do grass again in July, plant it, we'll get a cut in September, and yeah, we'll still get a cut in November as well, so I'm going to try that with our new fields up there, where is actually where am I going to, yeah, up there somewhere, all these hills over there. But yeah, so first of all, we need to do a bit of story spreading. Actually, no, perhaps we'll we could do the liming with this. That's for sure. But yeah, I'm just thinking like with this plot land over here, perhaps we can get some ducklings in. Obviously, yes, so it's saying pH is not great over here, so let's give our test now. Can we change the pH now? Because I need to look up where it's best to just direct drill or use a shell cultivator and then a direct drill in. So, let's wait for the sensor to kick in. And yeah, see there. So then let's put lime down, not fair enough. If we missed a bit of lime in that, that's fair enough. That's on us, so... And we're using about three and a half tons per hectare. And again, that should in theory help with the environmental score now. We'll get kicking up in that bit. happy with everything. Actually, just turn on the 
sensor sec. Wait, does we have a sensor on this? So we just detach. There we go. Crop sensor, turn that on. So I just want to go around again. I just want to make sure we've got everything. So here we here. Yeah, get a good readout. And in theory. Okay, has we done anything with the environment score? I'm guessing that's because so yeah. That's perfect. All that needs is fertilizer and that should be a hundred. That bit more nitrogen, so fertilizer. Again, we control. Cause that field there, that's our yeah, that's our oats field, so we've done the weed control on that. So I think it'd be a case of when we cut the grass next month or when we cut this one here today, you can perhaps use that as a test patch. Cut sixty four today. And then yeah, just give that a good old test. Cause yeah. Yeah, obviously these up here I expect that. So yeah, what I'm going to do is take this up to the north, to the hills, and then see if they need nitrogen, and yeah, just make sure everything's done, make sure we've got all of our stages in processing. Just got a bit of an extra bonus score, because that can always come in handy.
and there we go, that is the fertilizing almost done. So yeah, we've been a bit busy in that, and did decide to buy a fertilizer spreader. Yeah, I know, tend to just go against the principle of organic farming, but mainly this is for the grass and that. Obviously, yeah, technically we didn't use this for the oats and that, but yeah, that search spreader was just wearing out, emptying so quickly and that. It was just. So I thought, yeah, this would be a bit cheeky and that, just for like the one time at least. Oh, heck it. Let's just do it sort of slightly like cheeky way off. Getting the fertilizer spreader and yeah, it's definitely worth it. Like, obviously, if I was going to buy the manure, surrey, and all that separately, fertilizer be is better. And that actually, solid fertilizer is the cheapest way to go, especially when compared to like liquid fertilizer and that. But at the end of the day, what we're using surrey for is just from the cows. I'm getting quite a bit of it, so. Yeah, ain't too bad using Surrey that is pretty much his free fertilizer at the end of the day. Cows produce it from just natural byproducts, so yeah, but anyways, I thought let's use this for now. But mainly this will be for a contract working out. Hopefully we have some fertilizer contracts popping up. Is there anything at the moment? No, not at the moment, so Hopefully in the coming months we'll get something popping up, but... But yeah, that's everything done. If we have a look here, pH add nitrogen is perfect. we still got how that 2% extra yield bonus, that's 0.2 of a hectare, but... I think that's just from rolling in that, and... If I say we won't do the rolling in that, that 2% will help with... Remnant sword, perhaps, but yeah, not too sure on that. But yeah, we'll take it back to the farm. And I think next, what we'll do to finish off is start doing the mowing. Actually, in fairness, this episode may be slightly short than normally. That's just because of. As of recording this, it's Thursday, and I've got a busy few days ahead of me. Got some family in that to deal with and that today, and then tomorrow, Friday, to Sunday, once again, I'm at a bike ride for three days, and I'll be up, well, staying out tonight, and just sort of sleeping at a friend's place. So I can get in very sorry on Friday, so there won't be no videos over the weekend. However, this should come out Friday. Another episode of No Man's Land should be out anyways by the time this comes out on Thursday. So yeah, Saturday, Sunday, won't be no videos. I know like last week in the last week it's been a bit a bit that last sort of uploads. Again, all that is just IRL stuff and all that. And just, yeah, there's little things here and there. But yeah, get, should be getting back into making more content soon. After this weekend. Goes a bit of way. Obviously, you've got Court Farms, hopefully. That's to be sent off to test them by the time this has come out. So actually, in fairness, I did start recording this episode last weekend, but then I was getting caught up stuff. Went to record the first bit for this episode, like doing the last, the last three contracts that we did off camera and that. But yeah, for some reason, actually, I forgot to put my mic in, so or make sure my mic was plugged in correctly, so. But well, anywho, is what it is with that. But yeah, so the line spur is also filled up almost. We can do it by one more bag. And that should be fine. How's our cows doing? Not too bad. 
They'll need more straw soon. But yeah, as I said before, the food just gonna let it run out. Get rid of that hay for the these cows here. These cows, oh, they're starting to grow. So in three months, we can move them over to the cow sheds. Or I actually think perhaps technically you put the cows in there, then graze over the summer and that. Or at least, yeah, perhaps, yeah, just have a select number of cows just to graze the land in that. In theory, I wish it, in actual sense, in FS22 terms, it makes a difference. Like, with the feed in that, like, with the grazing, because that's the purpose of having an open pasture, is that they eat grass. But perhaps, I don't know, with FS20. Actually, no, it wouldn't be FS24, but FS25. Or something like that, perhaps with like animal grazing, they may still need food, as you would do with the uh, pen, pens and that. But perhaps they just require on the like, fifty percent less feed in that, using pens versus pastures. Yeah, I'm not too sure what giants could do on that. Definitely interested to see what they can do now with. The next assault with Farm Sim, obviously, with Farm Sim 22. It's been, yeah, I'll say it's been a bit revolutionary with what we've got now compared to what we didn't have in FS19. Certainly, with help on mods, of course, it always helps with stuff. But of course, trying to start the foundation for it, things like the winch system, enabling winches and that. And that's, that's been a game changer itself. I've seen some bloody awesome maps here on FS22 so far. I guarantee we'll see more to come in that over the next year or so for the next game Solvin. Don't know if Oxy is gonna do one more map for Farms in 22 before the next game comes out because Oxy does spend a fair amount of time on his maps and that and it shows Constant Farms when I did series on that. That was absolutely beautiful. Port Farms, from what I've seen from people on PC, absolutely beautiful on that. Obviously, yeah, with console now, we don't have scripted mods. And, yeah, the simple reason we don't have scripted mods on that is it's got to be inbuilt into the game to have scripted mods because. Uh, Sony and such or Microsoft won't allow scripted mods as such that involves changing the, the actual game files on their systems which yeah makes sense in a way because obviously if you allow think for what I gather from doing a bit of research if you allow scripted mods on consoles like changing game files of course then that can be utilised by hackers and other various groups and that to sort of play with the PlayStation 3 systems and the Xbox 360 is that like the not last gen but the previous gen before that consoles where hacking and that was a very common thing. Heck it I did it with my 360 flash the DVD DVD drive so I can play copy games and that. PS3, I've jailbreak that. So that I'll play board games and that, play copy games and that. I mean, I'll do that in my youth days. In my younger self and my younger life and that. But. Yeah, I, do, I doubt I will be able to change anytime soon. And I guarantee there's ways. It's all puts our mind into it. Perhaps there's a way to mess around with the last gen and current gen consoles. In a pretty much a similar way, actually fight enough. Reminds me of a video recently seen by I fix it of where they pretty much bought a one of those milkshake machines that McDonald's used by tailors. And pretty much it shows you why whenever you go to McDonald's at certain times 
The ice cream and milkshake machine is always broken. I.e. muck broken. Obviously I was aware of this issue. I've been aware of this for years now. Like the last few years now. It's always been... Oh sorry. Can't give you milkshakes or ice creams now. And this is me going there at what? Midnight? One, two, three, four, five in the morning even. And yeah, I think for what is shown in that, I think the reason why it has issues is it's because it is prone to overheating that. And then when you got recycle it, well, it takes about four hours to do. But then again as well, it's down to the actual system itself. Like, it's designed it's pretty much in the way of how John Deere tractors in America pretty much were or still are, not too sure. You know, in terms of rights to repair and that and everything else like that, with basically they can't fix it themselves, like the franchisees, the workers, or the John Deere and the farmers themselves can't fix their own equipment. They've got to take it to a Pacific dealership, they whack in the computer in, and then Bob de boo it's all done, it's fixed in that. But yeah, I was I think when I was aware of these issues, um quite off like another YouTuber, um oh yeah, uh who was it? Johnny Harris, a independent YouTuber journalist. He did a in depth video into it. And even like compared to like, things like Wendy's and that in States and that. Of where their milkshake machines are always working. I think obviously like what's been discovered now is like Taylor himself who designed the machines charged what was it? Three hundred and fifteen dollars for a fifteen minute call. That's basically twelve hundred an hour. I'm not sure what the wage system is like in the US but yeah, it's basically you're charging twelve hundred dollars an hour to fix a machine that in theory is designed to be broken. It's designed to be faulty and not user friendly, not serviceable by your average Joe in that. Or the people that are actually using it day in, day out, but. Oh, what a world we live in. That's absolutely mad, actually, but. So I don't know if it was like some kids now, like some like, hacker group created a kitchen device, basically where. It's basically a USB stick. Of where you whack it in to machines, and uh, you pretty much you hack through the system to the point that it actually gives you the actual error codes that the users will need, the franchisees now will need to obviously fix the equipment and that. Obviously, that very quickly got shut down by McDonald's and that. But now I fix it, it's going to try to do a similar thing again. But rather than like hack it and then just giving it a send it to people, they're actually gonna go through legislation like in the States, I think it's was it DMCA. Yeah, no words. Yeah, change the DMCA process of where it allows for parties to Oh, I think it's like something to do with actually it's basically like your right to repair and actually Enable to repair a product via third for party, where it's like mainly you can create a device into it. Yeah, I think it's also like like an issue designed to protect it from hackers and that people from hackers. Check companies and products to be hacked in that, but yeah, it's like interesting, like falling up in that. That's what I do sometimes as well, like doing these episodes and that. Or back on YouTube, if Mr. P or Dagwin hasn't released an episode where I haven't watched it already, then yeah, I'll do like random things like that, just random YouTube videos and that, or like similar YouTubers I tend to follow. Yeah, the main thing like many people I follow at the moment, it's a lot of it, it's just like computer stuff, technical stuff, and that. So you got your links like, like tech tips, 
gamer sexes and oh yeah um, that itself has been a quite a debacle recently but I can get into that because yeah that's it's so in depth that it is not just from a little testing issue or having a bad issue with of it, what was it, with their test data that nice tech tips and that uses like the nice media group obviously there's other accusations on that but uh, my opinion on those things personally it's a case of it's innocence until proven guilty timing coincidental, very and yeah I may get a bit of hate for that for saying stuff like that but more times than not, it, it tends to come out either not as bad as the original person makes it sound it's to be, or it turns out it's slightly oh, try try word the way off, a bit obscured in that bit. Not everything quite lines up as one person would say in that, but. I think that a good example of that was recently a very common band that I personally love on Ramstein of where back in was it back in June to the singer till the man got accused of X, Y, and Z certain heinous things that obviously you can't really say on YouTube and that but basically a SA pretty much of involving drinks in that in after parties in room zeros and all that. Obviously if you're interested, look it up in that, but fortunately recently um, all the charges has been dropped. Um simply because of no evidence, so obviously with that is more of a <coughs> so say fan made sort of statements and funny enough when that one person makes it more people come forward and whether or not it's happened or not, I don't know. But as of at the moment, instant until proof guilty. That's my way of thinking, that's how I view things in the real world because if it's proven to instant, as it tends to be by society nowadays, especially if you look on social media. That's a whole different argument that I'll look into, but... But yeah, I think that's just the best way to go about it. There's no harm in that. Give people the benefit of the doubt until sufficient things come forward. That makes it prove onto the contrary now. But it means... That's where we're going to leave it today. It's going to be a short episode, so next time... We'll resume doing the bathing. I think, yeah, next time we'll start doing the bathing and all that. And then, yeah, I'm thinking, try to skip till June. June that, see if we made a difference. I was going to get all the bells collected as well from the other field, so. I think next time it'll be a case of just collecting everything and putting it into storage and that. But yeah, as said, that's what we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.